Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of Dragon's Dogma 2. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to continue on completing some side quests. So without further ado, let's go ahead. Lest and you get started. It, tis the arisen we serve here. Shall we seek out the young man from the other day? Dude, these pawns just don't okay, shut up me to show you ever. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our Hoy, friend. Have any time for me today? I dare say we're owed you another talk. I agree, Sven. There's something I've come to understand during my stolen hours exploring these streets, and I wanted to share it with you. Every last resident in this city is wholeheartedly devoted to living out their lives. It seems a simple observation, I know, but to me, it was a revelation, for it made me painfully aware of my own position. Can this existence of mine even be called living when I am so doted upon by my mother? I want to live a life I can proudly call my own, and to achieve it with all that my heart desires. I tire of enduring my mother's coddling, and of having to mind every twitch in her face in order to appease her. Looking at this box, it fills me with courage. Tis proof that I am not my mother's servant to be willed about as she pleases. Tis something I obtained of my own will. Here is the last of the gold I owe you. Pray forgive me for making you wait for it. Now, I'd best be off. I may not be able to wander the city again for some time. There's aught I would do. Thus, I cannot say when next we'll see each other. Though, I feel sure we shall in time. Uh, perhaps sooner than we might think. <laughs> Till then... Take care, friend. That was quite a gift. I hope that procuring it was not a burden upon the lad. True enough. So we can get some courtly attire from him. We don't have to buy it or steal it from people. That's pretty cool. Welcome to Bjorn and quality is what you need if you want to survive. So if all you check the price. Yeah, that's kind of a good thing to know. Whenever, you know, we do another playthrough and all of that. Maybe I'll do a walkthrough on this one day. Uh, not anytime soon. Um, and just keep that in mind. Talking to Sven and getting all his stuff done. We'll be able to get some courtly stuff to go to the masquerade. So, while I wasn't recording and I was just running around, I did find a makeshift jail key. And... Just remember... My hope to see you again. Yes, yes. Um, there is a jail. Is it over here? It's somewhere over here. I couldn't get into it. Um, but I think I can unlock it with um, that key. So I am intrigued. Now, before we go anywhere else, because these pawns are so freaking chatty, man. It's annoying, but it's not annoying. I think if I wasn't recording, it wouldn't be so annoying. Let's go to Daphne. I did grab some medicine for her. I had these detoxifying decoction. I had four, but while I was out exploring, I was able to get one more um, just off a random drop. And yeah. And then I think after that, we will investigate the gracious hand. Yeah, we'll, we'll do some investigating over there. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. Trying to remember how to go through all here. I think I went the wrong way. I don't know. I'm, I'm so lost in this city. Um, there's my house. So if I come down right here, 
And then out over here. I've trained for this. Is this a challenge arisen to see who can keep pace? It is. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. Hey, Daphne. Hoi, arisen. Have you brought any medicine with you? I did. Hopefully, five vials will be plenty for you, Daphne. Now that's just splendid. Oh, thank you, Arisen. This should be plenty. I'll take it to the church straight away. Dude, her face looks crazy, though. Tis a goodly deed we've done, aiding the sick. I only hope our efforts go a ways toward improving life in the slums. I Glad agree, Star. I agree. Grab up some green wash. Might I beg but a moment of your time? Um, let's put on the quest Saint of the Slums. Might you be a friend of Lubomir's? He's seen better days, hasn't he? Well, that was a lucky <laughs> uh, somebody to talk to. Awesome. I think this is going to start the or continue the quest. There has been talk of sending him down to the basement, should his condition fail to improve. That is, the basement sick room, where our most critical patients convalesce under the Abbess's care. None of the other sisters are permitted entry, including myself. Tell is, she gives the patients a special medicine. I, I know not what kind. At times, I hear strange cries and moans drift up from below. W which is to, to be expected. Those who come here suffer all manner of afflictions, you see. And yet, a part of me is afeard for them. Um, what does that entail? Um, tell Lubomir, or Lubomir what you've learned about the basement sick room. So, the worst of us are taken to the basement. Mayhap that's the source of the queer voices I hear at night. And none say the abbess can enter? If the gracious hand has a secret, tis the abbess who keeps it, I reckon. You've done this much for me. Would you be willing to go further? I must find out what goes on down there. Sure, I'll help you out, Lubomir. Oh, you've my thanks. I just can't stomach the thought of lying here not knowing. Of course, all the better should your search come to naught. But if you do find aught some mist down in that basement, it must be the abbess's doing. Should you find evidence fit to implicate her, will you help me see to it that justice is carried out? See, I've already reported my suspicions to the sentinels, and we've arranged a signal. If you apprehend the abbess, they'll know to come and arrest her. So I beg you, sir, find the evidence you need, if it exists to be found. What about this reeks of a plot? Let us gather evidence that we might expose it. You have my support. I agree. I know not why, but the words basement sick room set my hair on end. Shall we investigate? Yeah, well yeah we should. Let's go down to the basement. There's nobody in here. Hopefully she doesn't have like zombies down here. Ingredients hmm. are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. Can't get in there. Let's talk to the abbess, wherever she's at. Ah, oh, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. 
Are you the abbess? Chaos in the world begins with chaos. You are not the abbess. Chaos in the world begins. Okay, come on. <laughs> Same dialogue over and over. You the abbess? A moment's prayer can do a world of good. I do hope not before's loop. Where the hell is the abbess at? Thanks, sir. She's not in here. I know so little of this world and of myself. She down here? I didn't see anybody over here. Is she in there? Well, how do we get in? I have a skeleton key or a makeshift skeleton key or something like that. Um, let's read the quest real quick. Investigate the basement sick room for evidence fit to implicate the abbess, then hand her over to the sentinels. Well, I can't get into a door in the basement, so I don't know how to do that. Oh yeah, we can't do the Batal one. Having more of these to hand ought serve us well in battle. Let us take care when and how we put them to use. Sure. Just looking for the abbess. I don't think she would be at a pub. I ought to have enough for a few Suppose that's enough for one day. This year's crops aren't faring so well. Home. I'm dead on my feet. Maybe I'll kick right Really back. now? Mayhap I ought to be getting home. Living's hard, but dreams are free, I suppose. Does she roam around? This I might be worth a read. Let's have a look then. Of the gracious hand, do say you'll go to see her. She's your best hope. She used to conduct research into sedatives and sleeping medication or yeah, medicants for the armies in Batal, so I am certain she will. Hmm. Must have taken a wrong treat myself to a tickle before bed. Yeah, where is she? Up there's the jail that I was talking about. Uh, I don't think she would be that way. I end up feeling weary even after a day of rest. She be up here? I want to go home. Suppose I ought to earn my pay. Hey, you. Nothing ever seems to happen around here. Nothing ever seems to happen around here. Yeah, I suppose not. Nattering all day, scurry work. Oh, sir, if you please. Pray excuse my boldness, sir. I am but a humble maid in service to a noble household. Might I beg a moment of your time? My master is in need of aid, you see, and I'm hoping you'll consider offering your assistance. Uh, sure. I'll help you and your master. Oh, thank you, sir. You cannot imagine my relief. Might we continue this conversation somewhere more discreet? The matter it concerns is rather sensitive, and I would not risk being overheard. 
You will find my master's manor in the noble quarter. Pray, meet me there at your earliest convenience. House of the Blue Sunbrights. Wonder if this is how we continue the Abyss. Where are we going? The noble quarters? Passed it up. Is this it? Oh, you came, sir. I must confess, I feared you would not. But I forget myself. You must be wondering why I asked you here. I should like to speak with an acquaintance of yours, a child with whom I espied you conversing. She is the spitting image of my young master, you see. It is my hope that she might take his place for a time, thereby granting him a reprieve from his sorry situation. Diana, would you paint my mother a criminal? <clears throat> Perhaps I ought to be the one to explain. Young master, I... I meant no offence. Diana has the right of it, though the situation is not nearly so dire as she makes it sound. I seek only the freedom to leave my own home. My mother is bedridden, you see, and her mind is not so sharp as it once was. Whenever I am absent, she grows terribly distressed. By leaving a look-alike in the house, I hope to ensure her peace of mind while I attend to matters of my own. Would you be willing to lend your assistance? Yeah, I think I can ass uh, assist you with this. Splendid. Thank you so very much. Twas in the slums that I witnessed you speaking with the girl. Would you be so kind as to bring her here? As long as you guys aren't going to har harm her. Good to see you, Master. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Oh my goodness, get over the ladders, people. <laughs> Every ladder I walk by. I think they're talking about Daphne. Where are you, Daphne? Hey, are you the abbess? This is a place of no, prayer. you're not. You're the abbess. I do hope not before sleep. No, you're not. Jesus, where did the abbess go? Hoy, arisen! I was hoping you'd come by so I could thank you again for all your help. You really made a difference around here. Hmm? You wanted to ask me a favor this time? All right. How can I help? So, this noble boy wants me to pretend to be him? Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure that'd work. I mean, I don't know the first thing about being a noble. Besides, are you sure we can trust these people? It all sounds a bit fishy to me. All right, I'll do it. But if I'm not very good at it, it's not my fault, okay? Okay, let's go bring her to the kid. Also, I did level up my vocation uh, one time, so I think we're at seven now. 
instead of six. Must be vigilant. The townspeople depend on you. You wish me to return? At once, master. Really now. Dude, Daphne, you are super slow. Look, young master. She's here. Indeed. I could be staring into a mirror. Diana, will you dress her and instruct her in her role? Well, this kid kind of seems like an asshole, I'm not going to lie. As you wish, young master. This way, if you please, miss. What a kindness you've done me. Now I can go and fetch a gift for mother. I'm hoping a little cheer will aid her in her recovery. And a flower from Melv seems just the thing. And she was born there, you see. No doubt her days would be brighter with a memento of her old home by her bedside. All is ready, young master. You need only finish your preparations for the journey. Help Sebastian prepare. Don't know what I'm supposed to do. You know, the roads around Malv are supposed to be really dangerous. I heard the safest way to get there is to carry something that reeks of Cyclops with you, because it'll scare all the monsters away. Okay. The lands around Melva are rife with poisonous flora. I'd hoped to pack an antidote for the young master, but the shops had none to spare. It is not only poison the plants inflict, but drowsiness besides. Might there not be a curative that accounts for both? Huh. Well then, I ought to be off, I suppose. I must confess, I feel rather uneasy. This is my first time leaving the city. I only hope I've not forgotten anything of import. Hmm. You think I ought to bring some medicine and monster repellent with me? What precisely would you suggest? Um. Damn. Okay. Let's see. What else? Ah! I almost forgot. Okay. We need to find... Let me go to the quest real quick. Uh, bring him something that reeks of a cyclops, as well as some medicine that can cure the debilitations of blight and sleep. Uh, so it looks like we needed three things to give it him. Seems Master Sebastian is lacking a few supplies. Should we gather what springs to mind? Yes, we shall. Let's go to our house. Actually, it's not our house. I keep calling it our house. It's not our house. It's somebody else's, but... Not deposit. Fine. We can deposit a couple things, I suppose. And keep that, too. Anything else? Yeah, put that in. Ooh. We're going to hang on to that because that helps with all debilitations. See, I'm trying to figure out if things rot in the storage or not. I kind of think they do. In Dragon's Dogma 1, they did not. But I have one flower that's dried and I'm just trying to see if there's another one. 
or if another one's going to pop up by having um, these flowers in there, like the noon bloom and stuff. Um, we'll do one more of these. And then do we have something that's like a cyclops? That's ogre. The eye of a cyclops. Yeah, that'll probably work. I know that they have tusks too, but I don't think... Ooh. I bet that would work as well. Um, I'm going to bring both of them just in case uh, the eye doesn't work. Items, where was it at? Right here, give to Mr. John Wayne. Up here? No, I went the wrong way. Damn it. Whatever, it's not that big of a deal. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, excellent find. I wonder if us talking to Sven, because I'm pretty sure that's the queen's son, is going to help us in the long run, being that she wants to get rid of us. Am I not on the quest? I am. Isn't this the place? I thought it was. Let's go inside. It's weird that there's not a marker on here. <laughs> Man, I could have easily lost this place. Well then, I ought to be off, I suppose. I must confess, I feel rather uneasy. This is my f I only hope I've not forgotten anything. Hmm. Okay, yeah, you just... You think I ought to bring some medicine and monster repellent with me? What precisely would you suggest? And then let's try the eye first. If that doesn't work, we'll use the bone. Ah, worked. I just want to make sure, you know. My thanks. I'm certain these will come in useful. Now, I really must be going. Wish me luck. Take care, young master. Come back safe. Thank you for your aid in all of this, sir. I shall see about procuring you a suitable reward, so pray do come visit us again. Um, that little kid is probably gonna die. <laughs> uh, wait a day or so, then return to the manor. Okay, so we gotta wait a day. Do we have any more quests? Saint of the Slums, gift a bow. Where's that at? Over here. Jesus. Quite far. We'd have to go all the way over. Um, I don't know where it's at, but I know it's somewhere over here. Yeah, it's kind of far. We don't really have anything to do. We can try to look for the abbess again. What do you think? Does this Yeah, sure. I keep Who are you? Move, Lucy. Greetings. You seek guidance, do you not? You have lost sight of your path, but I can point the way. You need only make a worthy offering in exchange. Um. Before I do any of that, uh, who are you? If the way forward is shrouded to you, I can offer guidance. Okay. Well, I need some help finding the abbess. Uh, will 50 gold help you help me? I have seen your path. May these words... 
guide you true. Venture to Town's End's Estate, the next milestone on thy path. You've my gratitude. That didn't tell me anything. I'll pay another 50 coin. Anything else you can tell me? I have seen your path. May these words guide you true. Oh, come on. That's bullshit. <laughs> that is bullshit. You've my gratitude. Tis lovely to see you. Yes, what's with the oracles? Damn it. That is not what I meant to do. All right. Uh, I mean, she didn't really point me in the right direction because I don't know what the estate ends is. We're trying to find the abbess because we want to get into the basement. Maybe she can give us a key or give us a tour of it. Well, let's put that quest back on. I keep pressing X to try to... Um, oh, cool. I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with the matter at hand. Perhaps we should have a more knowledgeable pawn join our party. I agree. How might we enter the basement sick room? I don't I know, Lucy. I don't know. Hey, you. Hey, you know where the abbess is at? Tis good to see you are well. <laughs> you gave me no information. Not giving up on finding the abbess. Ooh, don't fall, Mr. Wayne. Let's go over to the bar and see if maybe somebody knows where she went. Hey, you. Marriage isn't what it's chalked up to be. I suppose not. I don't know. We have found a material. Pretty happy being married. I'm sure, we'll find a purpose. What might you need? Oi, keep your distance. Elena. Ah, yes. The abbess of the gracious hand. A fine woman by all accounts. I was in her care once myself. But I must admit, I've always felt there's something off about her. You see, I was only a little under the weather when I entered her care. But then I started getting sicker and sicker till I was certain death would come for me. In the end, I survived, but methinks I was one of the lucky few. So many died down there. And once I saw her, the abbess, meeting with a strange man. She handed him a large parcel, all wrapped up. And he gave her something small in return. You'd think to a medicine, but I'd not have bought medicine from a man like that. He had the look of a scoundrel about him. They were whispering, but I did hear one of them say aught about keeping quiet. Tis well suspicious, eh? Where'd they meet? Twas in the square in the eastern part of the common quarter, and always a night, as I recall. Uh, okay, well that continued the quest. Lady Eleanor's a goodly person, a saint-like. Her earnest care saw me back to full health. I wavered between life and death for quite some time in that basement sick room, and she watched over me through it all, bless her. Can't say as I miss that basement, mind. Tis an eerie place, dark and shadowy, filled with the moaning of the sick. Supposed is only to be expected. Given the state of those assembled, I'm sure I was moaning too. Star, relax. I haven't seen my husband in some time. 
You wouldn't happen to know what's become of him, would you, sir? Uh, I don't even know who your husband is, lady. Dude, you guys are all up in my way. Is it true you're the Arisen? That's what I've heard, anyhow. Only, I seem to recall someone else boasting of being the Arisen over in the tavern about six months ago. Just be sure you play your part well, whatever the truth. The Arisen takes the crown here in Vermin, after all. The fellow Drake or two, and I reckon you'll learn the people's faith. <laughs> Good luck to you. Uh, no, we talked to her. What business would you have with a humble fo Is that the lady that is talking about she doesn't this like being married? Of the sea. Yeah. I imagine we would not escape a plunge into the water's depths. I haven't seen my husband in some... Okay, that's... Lady talking about she hasn't seen her husband. Hey, where are you going? We ask but a few coin for your entertainment. I'm frightfully busy. Okay. So... It's almost night time. Mm. Spoke with Bruno, spoke with Jahan. Maybe it's John. Just a weird way of spelling it. Hey, do you know where the abbess is? Would you take pity on me? What about you? The other day, I chanced to see a most resplendent ox cart on the high road. Now, that's not so strange, but guess who I saw riding in it? Poor little Daphne. I doubt with my eyes I did. And rightly so, as it turned out to be a young boy. The resemblance was so uncanny, I mistook him for her. Gave me a right shock, let me tell you. Odd to think a young noble should so closely mirror a girl of the slums. Their faces may match, but the lives they lead are as different as night and day. Aye, tis a cruel world we inhabit. I wonder if they're twins. I haven't seen my husband in some time. Okay, lady. All right, maybe you should go look for your husband if you're that worried. I do hope not befalls Lubomir. Hey, Lubomir. I talked to a couple people. You want to talk to me? I have noticed that the abbess goes out every night without fail. Perhaps you could wait for her to leave and slip into the basement sick room then. Oh. That makes sense. So, we just gotta wait until she leaves at night. Oops. I can't even find the lady, so... Should be getting dark pretty soon. Maybe we'll, uh, wait somewhere. Is there a bench? Where can we find a bench? Let's go to the map. There's a bench there, but is there one closer by? It's kind of a run. We'll run over here. We'll just wait until nighttime. Or you know what? Here's what I'll do. I will wait here until night falls. That way I'm not running around and doing all that. I'll wait here till nightfall and I'll make a cut and I'll see everybody back when it's dark out. So I'll see everybody in just a second. All right, <laughs> we're back. It's nighttime. We're going to check this damn basement. And then there is a marker. Um... Over there that I want to go to as well. The patients oh. in this room must not be disturbed. Leave this place at once. 
Oh. Okay. Okay, I think we need to wait for her to leave then. So we were able to go in there, but the abbess As you wish, I shall return directly. caught us. So is she going to hang around out here? No, not why, but the words basement sick room set my hair on end. Shall we investigate? Splendid. Where is she? Ah, there you are. Yeah, I'm going to. You're not watching me, are you? What are you doing? Okay, I need to I need to wait for her to like leave or something. Cause she is not What are you doing, lady? All right, let's go over to the marker. See if Come on. You wish me to return at once, master. Don't think you're safe just because you're in the city. Monsters have gotten bolder of late and more ferocious. One found its way inside the common quarter just the other night. Much blood was spilled afore the thing was cold. You could say it was an ill twist of fortune. But mayhap we ought to be better prepared for such incidents. I wonder if building a nice high wall is out of the question. Interesting. Where's this marker at? Oh, it's not too far. Living hard, but dreams are free. Okay. I'd sooner stay out of that. <laughs> uh, how do you do? Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. We ought to put it to good use. Oh my god. <laughs> what is with you guys in ladders? Here. Aye, this is plenty. Lord Phasus is like to be in your debt. <laughs> Nicely done. Suppose it can't have been easy to procure this much so quickly. You suppose wrong. I command their full faith. Tis simple for me to extract what I require. Ha! You're a fearsome one. Here's hoping I ne'er end up in your care. Enough. I gave you yours, now you give me mine. I'd not be seen here with you. Ah, of course. Wouldn't want to hurt the Lady Saint's image in the eyes of the common folk, would we? Here's your special medicine. Glad we understand each other. Till next time. I be seeing you. Lord Phasus. It is a name of great import. Of that, I am certain. That's odd. Come on, ladies. Let's see if we can get in that basement now. Because the abbess seemed to be over there. Better not be in this damn basement. Can I talk to you? Medicine? Medicine! 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 Now! 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 Oh my god. Oh, someone help me. Jahan? Bruno, where have you gone? Oh. Unlabeled medicine? some evidence but there might be more to discover let Records us scour of every inch of this room well said
said. What are the records of treatments? Um, documents detailing the symptoms of a number of patients among those marked as discharged. You, yeah, we already talked to those guys, so. Come on, ladies. Let's talk to um, Lubomir. No shortage of eating, Mark. You're back. Pray, tell me, have you found anything? Yeah, I found uh, the records. These look like records of treatment. Johan and Bruno. I know these two. They left here not long ago, fit as a pair of fiddles. I recall them being especially meek to the abbess. Mayhap that's what got them out safely. At any rate, they may know aught of use. Loath as I am to ask more of you, perhaps you would speak to them in my stead? You're back! Pray, tell me, have you found anything? Um, yeah, I found some medicine. What? You found a medicine used only in the basement sick room. I... I don't like the sound of that. Do you think... Could I trouble you to look into this as well? Mayhap you could show it to the doctor I saw before coming here. Radcliffe, his name was. He's staying in the rest town. Pray, sir, do what you can. I must know. I don't even know... He thinks we would do well to bring this medicine to Sir Radcliffe, the doctor over in rest town. Don't even know where Rest Town I quite is. Agree. As I recall, the abbess met with that strange and the two shared a few whispered words. Okay. Hi, that lady Eleanor is Okay, well. I guess we must have talked to them a little too early. Let's see. Where the hell is it? Oh my god, that's even further than the last quest. Um Let's go that this one goes to Melv, right? I think. I don't know. Let's go over here. And let's go over here. See if we can't get to Rest Town, I think it was called. Right? Look at the quest. Oh, great. I think it was called Rest Town because <laughs> it doesn't say anything else. All right, let's see. Over here, I think, is the first ox cart. Merchant Quarters. No, down here. You know, There's just look at. Here. Oh, oh my God! Excellent find. These ladies are obsessed with fucking ladders, man. <laughs> I'm not taking any passengers just now, sir. Okay. Where does this one go, though? Can I read? If our destination is a distant one, travel by ox cart might be worth considering. Fewer monsters are to be found on the main road. 
Though carts travel only by the sun's light. This ox cart's bound for Melv. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Well, we're not going to Melv. Um, rest town. I gotta keep remember that. Rest town. I'm just trying to repeat it to myself because I'm gonna forget it if not. Have my moments. Oh, let's take off. Let's take off this one. Now we're heading over to the third marker. Which is right over here. Where are you heading? This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. Checkpoint rest town. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Um Yeah, we'll go there and then I think we'll end the video in the checkpoint rest town. As you wish, I shall return directly. Please don't have a big fight. Oh my god, we didn't have to fight. Oh, thank Jeebus. Alrighty, I think what I'm going to do is have them wait over here, and then I'm going to come over here, and we're going to end the video. I think right over here looks really pretty. So, alright everybody, I want to start by telling everyone thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. I have up. a modest talent for spotting materials that can be used to enhance Oh my god. Equipment. Wow. I can even mark them on your map. No, thank you. <laughs> Jeez. If it's not the pawns, it's just some random pawn walking and being like, Hey, do you want to recruit me? <laughs> All right. Let's try this again. <laughs> thank you, everybody. I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? Again, we'll try this one last time. I apologize, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like Don't always, everybody, have a good morning, a Some good afternoon, masters, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off. Service. Each to their own. It seems to me we'll find some rare.